Crybaby pedal was the first effect I ever had. I think I had a Distortion Plus and a Crybaby, and I guess that was, I was like 15 or 16 years old, and I must have picked it up at a pawn shop or something like that. Now, I'm not one of those guys that really spends a lot of time looking up vintage Wawa pedals or um, all the different types that are made, although I'm familiar with a few. Um, I've always used a Crybaby, so that's always been the Wawa pedal of choice. I'm able to express myself in a certain way with the Wawa pedal that is very important. You know, it, it's, it, it's something that you control with your physical actions. And so it's very organic. It's not processed, so to speak. What makes Dunlop unique is the fact that no matter what it is, they're always willing to try and go for it to make it happen. So they're constantly asking me, do you need anything? Is there anything that we can do? Can, you know, basically, can we design something for you? Is there a deficiency in your setup that we need to fill the gap with? The thing that led me to the Slash sort of signature crybaby was I wanted to have a traditional uh, Wawa pedal with all the crybaby subtleties and all that kind of stuff. But at some point in Velvet Revolver, I'd taken a crybaby and mixed it with some weird pedal, some sort of distortion pedal, and put them both on at the same time. This is in the early Velvet Revolver days, and came up with this insane, out of control sort of distortion wah that, that I, I was attracted to. We developed a very complicated three bandpass overdrive distortion incorporated with a wah of a range that he particularly liked that has an abundance of harmonics and is very, very expressive and it is his signature sound. You know, and I just thought for something as crazy as that, then metallic red would be the most fitting color. So here I have the slash wah, and actually this is two pedals in one. What we've done is we've taken a classic crybaby and marrying it with a distortion. And this distortion uh, was basically hand tweaked and, and adjusted uh, by Slash for its tonal characteristics. And what we've done is we brought two important parameters out for user control, which is the overall volume of the output of the uh, distortion and also the gain, which adds uh, less or more distortion. And the great thing about this is the convenience of having just one pedal to having two effects, which are used together so often. So with a kick of a button, the wah-wah is on, and one more kick, it engages the distortion and wah-wah. Two status lights tell you whether the wah-wah is on or the wah-wah and distortion. The candy apple finish completes the package of the slash wah. Wow!